Carl and Dan here for Reaction Video Time. Checking out, if only by Void of Vision. I'm going to be straight up with you, Dan. Never heard of them. Please explain. <laughs> UNFD, Australian Metalcore. Of course. What more else is there to say? Of course. If you're regular watchers, you know this is Dan's territory. They're, if they're on the UNFD label, Dan will have checked them out inevitably. If they're on yeah. the Australian metal scene, highly unlikely Dan has interest in them as well. What kind, well, explain what kind of sound they've got. I really don't know. It's really hard to describe. Break it down to the basics. Metalcore? Metalcore, Heavy yeah. metal? Black metal? Metalcore. Metal there you cool. go. So basic metalcore. Of course, you know, I'm sure there's more layers to them than that. Yeah. But yeah, let's just uh, break it down to the simplest genre we can think of. And metalcore it is. I mean, it's metalcore. It's Australian metalcore. I'm a fan of a lot of bands from that area. I'm a lot of fat band, fan of a lot of bands on the UNFD label. And uh, what Dan does know is knock him out of the park. I'm always intrigued to see what he's listening to now. So let's do this in three, two, one, go. Ooh.
Okay. So before I say anything, I'd love to understand what is it you think so special about these guys? I didn't say there was anything particularly special about them. Okay. I, I really like their vocalists, their harsh um, vocals. The harsh vocals, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. He, the way he does it, he kind of like stretches his chords and I just really love how harsh it sounds. I do agree with you. He's got a particularly harsh set of pipes on him. I think it's even all the more impressive, uh, all the more impressive when um, he's got this kind of, when they when, it, when it's very dull back and it's background noise almost to a degree. I quite found myself quite uh, liking that side of things. Um, it, 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 I wasn't asking to trip, trip you up or be like, well, I think they're shit. Uh, absolutely not. I'm struggling to sort of see what what marks them out from the pack, if that makes sense. Like, they're great. That was That's a very, very good song. There are elements that I particularly, particularly like that I'll get into in a minute. But I'm struggling to see if I held them up against many other bands who do a, the similar style of music, the metalcore, um, with electronica added in here and there. What makes them stand out? Do you understand what I mean? I don't think there has to be anything to make any band there does. stand out. There does. There does. Because in this current, I, I disagree with that completely. I, I, it's not so much that you've got to do one thing specifically. That's not what I mean. I mean, in the sense that when we've all got this constant slew of music that you can go on YouTube today and find a hundred different bands that released a song today. or and, and particularly a Friday, which is when we're recording this video on a Friday, <laughs> new release Friday, when it's just album, EP, single, and you cannot keep up you to, to mark yourself that from the pack particularly if you're an independent band i realize they've got the advantage they've been around a bit little while and they're on unfd and stuff like that so they're being marketed to the right people but i think it, i think these days more than anything else you can't just be like okay we're doing the same thing everyone else is doing because you will never particularly if you want to be a big band you're never going to make it off that that's the simple fact of it it's not about doing something unique because what is unique in rock and metal this Nothing. days what you what it it's it can often be as simple you're doing something that everyone's done already but doing it really 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 well or better than most do you see what i mean my mm. my i guess my issue with this track is i think it's brilliant i think it's interesting i think it's very listenable but i don't think they're doing anything that anything that's better than a lot of other and in their own scene in their own scene in, in metalcore and stuff like that do, 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 like, would you put them up there as one of your favourites? Oh, definitely not. Mm. Like, compared to Thornhill or Alf Wolf, yeah. which are two yeah. of my, two of my they're favourite. Two the, they're two of the best, instantly, yeah, 100% agree, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're good, and I reckon they will get somewhere. Oh, I think they already are, looking at the yeah, they counts and stuff like that. Yeah, they views a year ago. Absolutely, this, this is not... Um, that's not the one I'm looking at, then. I was looking at... Uh, Oh, no, we are looking. 2019. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It says, it says one year ago. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to sound like I'm Sam because the elements I really, really like. I also really like the uh, the aggressive vocals, but if there was one point where you're going to point at me and say, well, what is what is what you've kind of heard before? It's that. What I didn't expect to think was, was the best element was the clean singing. Mm. And that's because I think that guy's got an incredible range and he was showing it in moments now in that chorus the first sort of words he sings are underwhelming but then he goes up an octave and it's that let me the drown part uh, and that's fantastic yeah. and then you've got um the harsh vocalist way behind him like repeating the words over and over that is brilliant that yeah. is that is clever that's one of my fun. favorite parts that is clever as fuck. That is what I'm talking about. That's what I'm going to remember from this tra track, that. Because the electronic sort of stuff they put in at the start and all that is, it's almost pointless to a degree. Like, did it really, like when it, when the track goes on and all that, did it really do much else beyond that? I guess not. No, what I really liked though was the opening with a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. And I also liked that it was like two beats because I was expecting it to be three. And then I was uh, waiting for it to go three, boom. And it did two, and then it went boom. And I, and it kind of, like, uh, yeah, cool. Yeah. You didn't do what I, you, you, you didn't do what I expected. Fantastic. You know, it's a weird one because I really, really like the track. I really, really do. And I think there's a lot, again, great little elements and stuff like that. It made me go, oh, I'm just a bit like, like I said, start, I'm just a bit like, oh, well, what makes them so special? Without saying because it sounds like you're being a dick when you said it, what makes you so special? And that's not what it's supposed to be. It's what makes you so special compared to everything else around you. 
but shit, you're a damn good band. And maybe it's, I need, well, it's not even maybe. I need to listen to more tracks, I think. Because yeah. one track, one, one, one track is not a summation of a band's career or work today. I, you know, when we were doing this reaction, we were scrolling through the others that they've released since and stuff like that. So clearly have a great body of work that will no doubt potentially shot because think about any think about the best albums in the world right the best albums that have ever existed are they wall-to-wall bangers or are they often have one track in it that maybe isn't as good as everything else even like my favorite albums will have a couple tracks that i'm like yeah take it exactly or leave it. exactly that uh, i'm very you know i think again it's a great modern metalcore band you said you were struggling to put them into a genre um i don't really see that i'd see them as a metalcore band no, oh, it's when you, because I'd already said metalcore and then mm. you asked me and I was like, okay, not metalcore then. <laughs> oh, sorry. I, I, that was my fault then. Um, yeah. 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 It's my fault then. Yeah. Um, as for the video, it was fine. A lot of, again, a lot of sort of things I swear I've seen before, be it the outfit or we're in a black room and it's very dark and we're the only ones lit. Do you see what I mean? Like yeah. That, but that's a video. You know, when, a video. you're not watching a video when you're listening to the music, are you? Yeah. Uh, so it's no big deal but yeah again again with another australian metalcore band you've shown me i'm i'm almost confused i'm conflicted <laughs> i really really like it i really <laughs> enjoy so much of it but there's always these little things that just make me go hmm, hmm, hmm you know that sort of thing yeah but, but hey um if you've got a thought let us know in the comments Thank you very much for watching. You can check us out on gbhbell.com as well as on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Tumblr. Go to Patreon to help us out over there. That's patreon.com forward slash gbhbl as well as Big Cartel where you can find some of our merchandise. We have a podcast running on SoundCloud and Apple Podcasts. And of course, if you like this video, do us a favour, hit the subscribe button and help the channel grow. Games, horror and heavy metal. What else is life for?